Right now, I'm at the Botanical Gardens. We were doing a service project for 9-11 and Remembrance because what a tragic day that was. Many people lost their lives and we need to show that we appreciate them. So here we were planting. We made our own plants. Right here, uh, I, planted, I planted a plant. It's parsley. Um, also, we made a mur mural, remote messages, drew, and just expressed ourselves on paper about how we felt about going green and also about 9-11. It's been the most exciting and most thought-provoking seminar, like uh, event that I've ever attended. Uh, the enthusiasm here is just contagious. <laughs> I've been learning so much and the fact that it's also paired with the hip-hop caucus makes the whole thing a lot more interesting. It, it may be true that hip-hop can um, have an influence on a lot of people in this world today, so them sending the message out to um, these kids can really help the community because they, they can take their word for it. Hip-hop is a very big, like, I guess you could say genre in Brooklyn. Um, we listen to hip-hop all day, and to have it incorporated into this, Green Day, it basically sp spreads the message to um, all the kids in Brooklyn. Today was our day of service and remembrance, and uh, we came together with the Hip Hop Caucus, the Source Magazine, Greening the Block, and Green for All. And I think it was a very successful event from what I can see, the young people have really embraced the concept of marrying service with our green movement. They're taking ownership of what we know is the next evolution of our nation, and that is understanding our connection to our environment, uh, our ability to be innovative and creative, and knowing what it is that we can do to help preserve our planet and our way of life.